There was a man in the Hebrew Roots movement who told me, hey, if you go out to reach people with the Torah, they never say with the gospel, they never say with Jesus. They say, hey, once you get seasoned enough in the Torah to go out and reach people with the Torah, which is found, no, that idea is found nowhere in the Bible. But he says, once you become good enough to do this, he says, make sure you use Jesus' name to reel them in first. Because if you say the name Yeshua, that will, that will cause them to doubt you. That will, they'll, they'll think that's weird. Use the name of Jesus just to get them in. And once we have them in, we can slowly start telling them that his real name was changed and that his real name is Yeshua. And so that's the sign of a cult, is when somebody can't be straightforward and honest and say, well, I believe in Yeshua. They slowly introduce it by using Jesus' name. So instead of using Yeshua, let's say with somebody out on the street, you might use Jesus' name right. first. Always. Yeah, always I will use the name Jesus, unless I'm with a, a Hebrew Roots Fellowship, then of course I'll, I'll say Yeshua. But if I just use the name Yeshua or Yahweh or Yehovah or however they pronounce it this week, it's important, um, but not as important as drawing folks in. So does that make sense? I mean, it's more yeah. like I would rather try to gain someone's um, interest and desire to meet Jesus than to push them away by using a name they're not familiar with. And if the name of Jesus really is Yeshua, don't we believe that the Savior name has power? Why is it that we have to go to a door to, to, to preach the Torah and we can't tell them the name of the Savior? We have to use, in our opinions, some counterfeit name in order to draw them in and then tell them the real name. It shows that there's no power in what they're preaching. It shows that it's not the true name of the Savior. And so I like to start there and then say, oh, and by the way, did you know his Hebrew name was Yeshua? And why that's important? Because Yeshua means God saves. For those of you that are in the Hebrew Roots Movement, one of the best ways to know you're in a cult is when certain information or, or certain beliefs are being withheld from you until you've gotten deeper into the religion or deeper into the cult. And the Hebrew Roots Movement is one of the best examples of withholding certain beliefs and withholding certain information until the perfect time when they can really deceive you. I know you and I had already talked about this and, and I don't have any judgment towards you because this is all I knew my whole life growing up, um, but I, I think that Jesus means hail Zeus. I refer to him as white Jesus now. There's no greater strategy for Satan than to attack the foundation of our faith, the name of Christ. And so if Satan knows that there's one name that we can call on to be saved, it's obvious that he would do everything in his power to attack that one name. Did you know that the name Jesus is less than 400 years old? Where did this name come from? And what was the original name of our Messiah? When you say, that the name of Jesus is the wrong name. That's an attack on the Greek New Testament because that's where we get the name Jesus. We derive it from Isus in the Greek New Testament. And if you're gonna say that the Greek New Testament is wrong, then all of Christianity just went out the window because Christianity is built on the foundation of the New Testament. So if you say, well, the New Testament wasn't written in Greek or the Greek New Testament that we have is wrong, we have no foundation. For, uh, for 30 years of my life, for 30 years of my life, um, I used to love quote unquote white Jesus. It's not really his name. We both know it's not his name. I don't think it's a proper translation. And when you go back to the Greek being um, I-E-S-O-U-S, um, Iusus was in reference to Helios or, or Osiris um, being Zeus. I don't think that, that we have a perfect translation left. Um, it's just the way it is. Um, I think that we have parts. The Greek New Testament is the foundation of Christianity. And if you don't believe that the Greek New Testament is authentic, then you are left with nothing. So it's clear that you'd have to do a lot of mental gymnastics to believe that the New Testament was originally written in Hebrew. Brother Matt, we have to understand how crucial this doctrine is. 
Because the Bible says, Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. So it's crucial to understand the name. If we have two names at risk right here, if we have the name of the Savior being put to, to test by these demonic Hebrew Roots Movement teachers, if the name of the Savior being put to the test whereby we are saved, it's a very dangerous doctrine. So to say that the name of Jesus has only been around for 400 years isn't just an attack on the translations of the Bible, it's also an attack on the very foundation of the Bible, the actual Greek manuscripts. And that is the end game of this Hebrew Roots movement. It's actually to get people into Judaism. It's to get people to reject Christianity and go to Judaism. It's the gateway drug of Judaism, okay? They want to get you to have doubt in the New Testament, doubt the Greek New Testament, doubt the name of Jesus, doubt its authenticity. They want to get you all excited about the Hebrew because what they really want you reading is a Hebrew Old Testament and that's all they want you to accept. They want you to reject the Lord Jesus Christ. That's what it comes down to. And the people that are behind this are Jews, they're crypto Jews that are trying to get people away from Christianity and into Judaism.